Folks, our gross margin dropped 1% this quarter. One of the reasons is that we packed and shipped less product than the previous quarter. We have to get to the bottom line of this quickly. Dave, any thoughts from the packaging team? Sure, we shut down both packing lines three times last quarter because we ran out of finished product. That cost us eight hours each time. That's 48 hours of downtime at $10,000 per hour per line. That's $480,000 of lost margin right there. Peter, what happened in process? Well, every month last quarter, maintenance scheduled 16-hour shutdowns on both batch control systems. But we have two 80,000-pound buffer tanks, one on each packing line. At a packing rate of 10,000 pounds per hour, we should have at least eight hours of buffer per line. After eight hours, the buffer tanks were emptied and we couldn't start refilling for another eight hours. Maybe Mark can explain it. Okay, so Mark, why did maintenance schedule 16 hours of downtime per system every month? Because last quarter, quality increased the frequency of scale calibration due to product quality issues. So now, we calibrate scales once a month instead of once a quarter. There were five 4,000-pound scales and one 20,000-pound scale in each system. It takes us 16 hours to load test weights, calibrate, and validate all five scales. We have to load and unload the test weights, which takes time and raises safety concerns. It can't be rushed. Okay, this is a problem. We can't afford quality issues or more downtime for calibrations. Any ideas? I have one. One of our sister plants had a similar problem. They switched to Hardy Scales, which cut calibration time in half. I watched them install and commission it. It solved the problem and is still working great. How can Hardy Scales cut calibration time in half? Hardy load cells are pre-calibrated. They store unique calibration data on each load cell, so we don't need to load a single test weight to calibrate the scales. It's already done. All we have to do is validate Hardy's calibration with a small test weight, typically about one-eighth of the test weight normally required. Huh. That means we could maintain the frequency of calibration and verification, slash the current downtime, maintain quality, and recover margin. That sounds like a win-win with the least total cost to operate and safely maintain. What do you think, Mark? I think my maintenance team will be over the moon. Fewer potential safety and OSHA issues and a lot less time moving test weights around the plant. Let's get Hardy in. Good, that settles it. Let's get Hardy in for a quote ASAP. Easiest to use, high performance, lowest total cost.